Welcome to this week's episode of 60 Seconds with the Superintendent. Well, have you ever heard of something called a makerspace? Either did I until about a year ago when our Director of Instructional Technology, Vicki Turner, brought this idea to Strongsville. Let's catch up at Kinsner Elementary School to see exactly what a makerspace is and the benefits it has for our students. About three years ago, the district started planning to put makerspaces in all of our buildings. So we started meeting as teams and administratively. Uh, we've been looking at other districts. We've gone to places like Thinkbox in Cleveland. And uh, Kinsner is the first elementary to have a makerspace. And it is our pilot school, but we will be br bringing makerspaces to all the elementary. So we're really excited. Makerspaces are places where you can be creative, where you can build, where you can do project-based learning. It's very student-centered. Students are in control. And we also help them with curriculum and, and with projects. So we are at the beginning phases of Makerspace, where they're bringing in donations. For example, they're bringing in old electronics, and we'll have a take-apart station. So there's you know old VCRs out there, things that don't work, um, keyboards, and so you know those are the kind of things that we're we're you know asking for and bringing in, and um, even simple things like cardboard, where they can design cars or even make a robot out of some of these boxes. So anything that you, that kids can use to be creative with. We um, as a school are are making purchases. Um, things like a 3D printer we're going to be purchasing, uh, Legos, Connects, robotics, different coding aspects. Um, you know, so there's some high-tech aspects. Um, and then low-tech aspects where it's just duct tape straws and, and fuzzy little balls. You know, so the kids can be creative with, with all, those kinds of, all those kinds of things. We also have a student group. They're kind of spearheading the, the sign and, the, and almost our marketing. So we've selected uh, four students and their signs have made it to the, the final round where they're going to start creating their signs. We're so excited to, to be piloting it. Um, you know, the kids are excited. They walk by all the time. They peek their heads in there, like, what's going on in there? So the word's out. Um, not up and running yet, but it's it's going to be hopefully in the next uh, next couple months, hopefully. And then one really important piece is we owe a big uh, debt of thanks to the Strongsville Education Foundation because they did give $7,500 to fund and a lot of our high-tech equipment is coming from the money that they gave us, so the 3D printer and uh, the robotics and some of the STEM pieces. Um, so we do thank the Strongsville Education Foundation. We're very excited not only to get this off the ground at Kinsner, but working towards opening a makerspace at the Strongsville Middle School and the High School. A special thank you to our Strongsville Education Foundation for their support in helping move this initiative forward. And as a, just a general reminder, we hope to see everybody out at our community spaghetti dinner this evening from 5 to 7 at Strongsville High School. As always, thanks for watching and go make it a great Mustang week.